We are living in a new era of board games where publishers are often looking into ways of integrating technology into modern board games in a bid to make them unique and interesting and to experiment with the definition of what makes a board game a board game and not a physical video game. In this modern world that has only recently been and is still partly going through one of the worst pandemics on record, publishers have finally started bringing out some really, really good digital versions of their popular tabletop titles and have given us the ability to keep playing with our friends around the world, no matter what rages outside of our homes. Here are the five best digital board game adaptations. Sometimes traveling the world isn't something we can do in real life, but board games enable players to explore entirely new places to their heart's content without any repercussions or difficulties. In Splendor, a fantastic gateway game by the way, you play an up-and-coming merchant of the Renaissance era who crosses the globe in search of priceless gems to sell to nobles in order to amass a fortune. All this glitz and glamour is just as attainable in the digital board game of Splendor, enabling players to be transported to lands afar from their own homes. Each round of Splendor has players performing one of three actions, either collecting gems, buying a card, or reserving a card from the shared grid on the table. Each action offers new opportunities for point scoring. Should a player choose to take gems, they must either take three different colors or take two gems of the same color. Those gems can be used to purchase cards that provide permanent gem bonuses to help with buying cards later on, alongside the essential prestige points that win the game. Reserving cards ensures that opponents don't get their hands on them before you can afford the asking price and grants a wild gem that can be used in place of any color. As players continue to acquire more gems and purchase more cards, more options are made available to them and the opportunity for prestige points lays there for the taking. Splendor's digital board game gilds the lily in terms of presentation. The app features perfect recreations of the original board game cards and tokens, atmospheric music, a solo game mode and exclusive challenges. Capable of supporting up to four players online, the digital board game also offers several difficulty levels of AI to play against. A family board game institution Ticket to Ride is the perfect excuse to get your loved ones together for an afternoon of riding the rails and travelling the world. If the feat of getting people in the same room to play Ticket to Ride is proving a little too difficult however, the excellent digital board game version should get you back on track. Simple enough to be learned in a matter of minutes, Ticket to Ride is a beginner board game in which players take turns to claim different train routes across North America or one of the game's many other maps in several expansions and spin-offs, by collecting cards matching those routes. Players can gain points by connecting different locations on their secret ticket cards and forming the longest continuous train route. The simplicity of Ticket to Ride makes it the perfect choice for a relaxed gaming session, suitable for players of any experience or age to hop in and enjoy. Ticket to Ride's digital board game is easily one of the best board games on mobile and PC and that's coming from someone who doesn't much enjoy the actual physical version of the game. With wonderful sound effects poot, poot, and presentation, as well as a very straightforward interface that doesn't overcomplicate things. Despite the name suggesting this may be another train game on the list, Railroad Inc. Challenge could actually be considered more of a city planning roll and write game than a train game per se. As with most roll and writes, this is a simple and fairly quick game to play that can either be enjoyed solo or competitively with other players, and the straightforward rule set makes it easily accessible to veteran gamers and new gamers alike. Playing over 7 rounds, players roll the 4 communal dice depicting roads and railway tracks, as well as the odd station, and must make choices as to where to draw them on their player boards, ensuring to always connect to previously laid out roads and tracks. Not so straightforward a task when you don't know what roles will come up in future and there's also those in-game goals to keep a track of too. The digital version of Railroad Inc. Challenge comes with daily challenges and score attacks where you can try to compete with other players online for the highest score, as well as being able to challenge your friends to a track building duel. 
It's a very pretty little game, physically and digitally, and yet another one with an incredibly pleasant soundtrack. Pun intended. Who would have ever thought a game about collecting birds and the study of them would be a popular theme in the world of board gaming? But in 2019, Wingspan took the board gaming world by storm and has quickly become a popular staple amongst fans of cardboard big and small alike. Having received accolades such as the highly regarded 2019 Kennerspiel des Jahres, as well as reportedly outselling its older and very popular sibling Scythe in 2020, Wingspan is the game that put now-renowned board game designer Elizabeth Hargrave on the map, and it's surely the game that turned us all into naturists. Wingspan is a card-driven engine-building game that sees players collecting birds, laying eggs and racking up points with less and less time as the rounds go on. Playing over four rounds, each round gets shorter and shorter, but the to-do list does not. Whilst you'll miss out on the joy of getting to use the lovely custom birdhouse dice tower in the digital edition, you'll be rewarded with fun bird facts and bird sounds instead. The digital adaptation of Wingspan also guides players through their first game, making it a great option for players new to the game and even if you've never had an interest in birds before, you'll definitely find yourself sucked in by the fun bird trivia and little bird cries that play when you add birds to your board. Gloomhaven is a video game inspired board game turned video game. If you follow tabletop gaming in any sort of capacity, you've undoubtedly heard of Gloomhaven. It's one of the best board games released in the last few years, and its popularity is unprecedented. Whether it's the eye-catchingly grim art style, campaign-based structure or crunchy card-driven gameplay, Gloomhaven has cemented itself in the hearts and minds of players everywhere. It should come as no surprise then that there is a digital board game based on Gloomhaven, and it happens to be rather good. Considering how expensive, not to mention enormous, the original Gloomhaven is, the digital board game may well be preferable to many people wanting to play it. A co-op board game, Gloomhaven sees players assuming the roles of wandering adventurers, brought together in a dark quest filled to the brim with vicious monsters and none too nice folk out for blood. Using their unique skills and abilities, players explore mysterious locations and encounter various enemies on the hunt for precious loot. Each dungeon offers a variety of different challenges, with players needing to be careful with which cards to play and what decisions to make, or otherwise risk having to retreat from exhaustion. As players gain more experience and equipment, they'll be able to grow their character and improve their abilities over time. The role-playing elements of Gloomhaven, which see the world evolve over time similar to a legacy board game, are perhaps its most unique parts and help to shape the board game into a more epic and memorable experience. The digital board game version of Gloomhaven builds on its massive scope by providing 3D animated environments and characters, indulging in the original's dark and pulpy art style. The video game has just come out of early access and is now playable in a rather casual Guildmaster mode, as well as the full campaign mode that players of the physical board game have been able to enjoy for the last few years. So you see, there are many ways of enjoying tabletop games in this modern age, even if they are no longer strictly tabletop. Part of the joy of playing is the interaction with others who enjoy playing games as much as you do, problem solving, strategic thinking, or just the joy of listening to a little train going toot toot every now and again. We're very lucky to have access to so many great games right at our fingertips and often at a fraction of the price of the physical version, so we can even try it digitally first before we make the greater investment of the physical version. I hope you found this video helpful and you enjoy some of these great titles and more. This is by no means an extensive list, so if you have any must-play digital adaptations of great board games, why not let us and others know in the comments below? If you'd like to see more from us, stick around and let yourself be guided to a new video that will be suggested for you on screen. Hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos, but most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.